In aviation and aviation meteorology, flight level FL is an aircraft's altitude at standard air pressure, expressed in hundreds of feet. The air pressure is computed assuming an international standard atmosphere pressure of 1,013.25 hectopascals 29.92 inhg, and therefore is not necessarily the same as the aircraft's actual altitude either above sea level or above ground level. Topic. Background Flight levels are used to ensure safe vertical separation between aircraft, despite natural local variations in atmospheric air pressure. Historically, altitude has been measured using a pressure altimeter, which is essentially a calibrated barometer. An altimeter measures ambient air pressure, which decreases with increasing altitude following the barometric formula. It then calculates and displays the corresponding altitude. To display altitude above sea level, a pilot must calibrate the altimeter according to the local air pressure at sea level, to take into account natural variation of pressure over time and in different regions. If this is not done, two aircraft could be flying at the same altitude even though their altimeters appear to show that they are at considerably different altitudes. Flight levels solve this problem by defining altitudes based on a standard air pressure at sea level. All aircraft operating on flight levels calibrate to this setting regardless of the actual sea level pressure. Topic. Definition Flight levels are described by a number, which is this nominal altitude or pressure altitude in hectofeet, while being a multiple of 500 feet, therefore always ending in 0 or 5. Therefore, a pressure altitude of, for example, 32,000 feet is referred to as flight level 320. Flight levels are usually designated in writing as FLXXX, where XXX is a two- or three-digit number indicating the pressure altitude in units of 100 feet. In radio communications, FL290 would be pronounced as flight level 29R0. Topic. Transition altitude While use of a standardized pressure setting facilitates separation of aircraft from each other, it does not provide the aircraft's actual height above ground. At low altitudes, the altimeter is commonly set to show the altitude above sea level, which can be directly compared to the known elevation of the terrain. The pressure setting to achieve this varies with weather conditions. It is called QNH barometric pressure adjusted to sea level, or altimeter setting, and the current local value is available from various sources, including air traffic control and the local METAR issuing station. The transition altitude tar, is the altitude above sea level at which aircraft change from the use of local barometer-derived altitudes to the use of flight levels. When operating at or below the tar, aircraft altimeters are usually set to show the altitude above sea level. Above the TAR, the aircraft altimeter pressure setting is normally adjusted to the standard pressure setting of 1,013.25 hectopascals millibars or 29.92 inches of mercury and aircraft altitude will be expressed as a flight level. In the United States and Canada, the transition altitude is 18,000 feet 5,500 meters. In Europe, the transition altitude varies and can be as low as 3,000 feet 910 meters. There are discussions to standardize the transition altitude within the Eurocontrol area. On the 25th of November 2004, the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand raised New Zealand's transition altitude from 11,000 to 13,000 feet, 3,400 to 4,000 meters, and changed the transition level from FL 130 to FL 150. The transition level is the lowest flight level above the transition altitude. The table below shows the transition level according to transition altitude and QNH. When descending below the transition level, the pilot starts to refer to altitude of the aircraft by setting the altimeter to the QNH for the region or airfield. The transition layer is the airspace between the transition altitude and the transition level. According to these definitions the transition layer is 0 to 500 feet 0 to 152 meters thick. Aircraft are not normally assigned to fly at the transition level, 
as this would provide inadequate separation from traffic flying on QNH at the transition altitude. Instead, the lowest usable flight level is the transition level plus 500 feet. However, in some countries, such as Norway for example, the transition level is determined by adding a buffer of minimum 1,000 feet depending on QNH to the transition altitude. Therefore, aircraft may be flying at both transition level and transition altitude, and still be vertically separated by at least 1,000 feet. In those areas the transition layer will be 1,000 to 1,500 feet thick, depending on QNH. In summary, the connection between transition altitude, tar, transition layer, TLYR, and transition level, TL, is TL equals tar plus TLYR equals topic quadrantal rule equals this rule is no longer active. This rule applied to IFR flights in the UK both in and outside of controlled airspace except that such aircraft may be flown at a level other than required by this rule if flying in conformity with instructions given by an air traffic control unit, or if complying with notified en route holding patterns or holding procedures notified in relation to an aerodrome. The rule affected only those aircraft operating under IFR when in level flight above 3,000 feet above mean sea level, or above the appropriate transition altitude, whichever is the higher, and when below FL 195 19,500 feet above the 1,013.2 hectopascals datum in the UK, or with the altimeter set according to the system published by the competent authority in relation to the area over which the aircraft is flying if such aircraft is not flying over the UK. The rule was non-binding upon flights operating under Visual Flight Rules VFR. Minimum vertical separation between two flights abiding by the UK Quadrantal Rule is 500 feet Note these are in geopotential foot units. The level to be flown is determined by the magnetic track of the aircraft, as follows Magnetic track 0002, and including, 089 degree odd thousands of feet FL 70, 90, 110 etc. Magnetic track 0902, and including, 179 degrees odd thousands plus 500 feet FL 75, 95, 115 etc. Magnetic track 182, and including, 269 degrees even thousands of feet FL 80, 100, 120 etc. Magnetic track 272, and including, 359 degrees even thousands plus 500 feet FL 85, 105, 125 etc. The UK abolished the quadrantal rule on 2 April 2015 and has adopted the semicircular rule to align with other countries abroad. Topic. Semicircular, hemispheric rule The semicircular rule, also known as the hemispheric rule, applies in slightly different version to IFR flights in the UK inside controlled airspace and generally in the rest of the world. The standard rule defines an east-west track split. Eastbound magnetic track 000 to 179 degrees odd thousands FL 250, 270, etc. Westbound magnetic track 180 to 359 degrees even thousands FL 260 280 etc at FL 290 and above if reduced vertical separation minima are not in use 4000 feet intervals are used to separate same direction aircraft instead of 2000 feet intervals below FL 290 and only odd flight levels are assigned independent of the direction of flight Eastbound, magnetic track 000 to 179 degrees odd flight levels FL 290, 330, 370, etc. Westbound, magnetic track 180 to 359 degrees odd flight levels FL 310, 350, 390, etc. Countries where the major airways are oriented north, south e.g., New Zealand, Italy, Portugal, France have semicircular rules that define a north-south rather than an east-west track split. In Italy, France and Portugal, for example, southbound traffic uses odd flight levels, in New Zealand, southbound traffic uses even flight levels.
In Europe commonly used International Civil Aviation Organization separation levels are as per the following table. Topic. Reduced vertical separation minima RVSM. Reduced vertical separation minima RVSM reduces the vertical separation above FL 290 to 1000 feet. This allows aircraft to safely fly more optimum routes, gain fuel savings and increase airspace capacity by adding new flight levels. Only aircraft that have been certified to meet RVSM standards, with several exclusions, are allowed to fly in RVSM airspace. It was introduced into the UK in March 2001. On 20 January 2002, it entered European airspace. The United States, Canada and Mexico transitioned to RVSM between FL 290 and FL 410 on 20 January 2005, and Africa on 25 September 2008. Track 000 to 179 degrees odd thousands FL 290, 310, 330, etc. Track 180 to 359 degrees even thousands FL 300, 320, 340, etc. at FL 410 and above, 4,000 feet intervals are resumed to separate same direction aircraft and only odd flight levels are assigned, depending on the direction of flight. Track 000 to 179 degrees odd flight levels FL 410, 450, 490, etc. Track 180 to 359 degrees odd flight levels FL 430, 470, 510, etc. Topic: Metric flight levels. China, Mongolia, Russia and many CIS countries have used flight levels specified in meters for years. Aircraft entering these areas normally make a slight climb or descent to adjust for this, although Russia and some CIS countries started using feet above transition altitude and introduced RVSM at the same time on 17 November 2011. Topic. Mongolia, North Korea, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. The flight levels below apply to Mongolia, North Korea, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan and 6,000 meters or below in Turkmenistan where feet is used for FL 210 and above. Flight levels are read as e.g. Flight level 7,500 meters. Topic. People's Republic of China The flight levels below apply to People's Republic of China, not including Hong Kong. To distinguish flight levels in feet, flight levels are read without flight level, e.g. 12600 meters, or in Chinese, Yao Liang Lu, or Yao Wan Liang Qian Lu Bai Mi, for 12600 meters. RVSM implement in China at 1600 UTC the 21st of November 2007. The aircraft fly in feet according to the table below will have differences between the metric readout of the onboard avionics and ATC cleared flight level, however the differences will never be more than 30 meters. Topic. Flight levels in Russian Federation On 5 September 2011 the government of the Russian Federation issued Decree 743, pertaining to the changes in the rules of use of the country's airspace. The new rules came into force on 17 November 2011, introducing a flight level system similar to the one used in the West. RVSM has also been in force since this date. The following table is true for IFR flights. The new system would eliminate the need to perform climbs and descents in order to enter or leave Russian airspace from or to jurisdictions following the Western standard. From February 2017, Russia is changing to use QNH and feet below the transition level. The first airport to use this is ULLI, St. Petersburg.
Topic See also Flight planning Gillam code